This episode of Sewing Out Loud is brought to you by Baby Lock. ZD and I sew on Baby Lock sewing machines and sergers every day. Baby Lock is the perfect long term sewing companion. Their machines are reliably built, and the company is on the cutting edge of sewing technology. Just wait until later in the episode when we tell you about how you can use the camera on your phone to achieve perfect embroidery placement. Welcome to Sewing Out Loud, the official podcast of ZD Sewing Studio. Here are your hosts, ZD and Mallory. Hello and welcome to the podcast. I'm Mallory Donahue. And I'm ZD Donahue. And we're going to talk about Christmas presents, which this can be... Holiday gifts. You can, maybe it's not even Christmas. Yeah, maybe it's some I mean, holiday. we're the, you know, people who aren't religious who celebrate Christmas. So, you know. Secular <laughs> Some, Christmas. So sometimes I forget, yes, to be inclusive in that way, but it's very important. So holiday gift giving um, is something that happens a lot in North America. Uh, at least. And so anyway, we have to plan on giving presents to lots of people. Well, you know, there is the, I mean, where we live, um, it's common that you give teachers gifts. Yes. Teacher so not, gifts. Only, not only, you know, teachers at like your academic school, but maybe you have a dance teacher uh -huh. or a voice teacher or a piano teacher or a soccer coach or, but you know, whoever you have a lot of contact with that you do things with people who deal um, with your children, right? Your, you know, right. Your daycare, your hairdresser. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of gift giving that goes on at the end of the year. Yep. Yep. Exactly. So it, this episode's going to come out kind your of male, male person, male person. This episode's going to come out at the end of November. So the real tip here is the pressure's on. You should have gotten them done already. No, yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I well, and actually, um, we were going to talk about that. There are approaches to yes. how you want to organize um, your gift making. Or yeah, we're going to cover some strategy whatever. here. Yeah, because I think we did an episode last year on ideas uh, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But we're going to talk a little bit about strategy. So break down, everybody. You can break down your list uh, into a few different categories or let's start off with uh, the technique that I I kind of like this technique is the theme technique so you as a little gift factory decide okay everyone is getting cloth napkins right. or embroidered towels or or something uh, maybe it's not that specific maybe it's kitchen so there's yeah. kitchen towels and there's napkins and there's aprons involved uh what did we do we embroidered t uh what they're called blankets blankets one year for yeah, people that's okay a so you can decide on kind of like the same gift right and are you making something from the ground up uh-huh or, or are you just it? embellishing uh -huh. or you know are you altering some one year i made derek an apron yeah out of a sh it was a hawaiian shirt mm -hmm. and um it was fun yeah so mallory wears it all the time i do uh, he wears it too yeah. but actually the apron out of the shirt's so good because it buttons up right or buttons to, yeah the neck. Like, well i guess uh, yeah so it buttons all the way up to right. really cover and protect your clothing right. which is so nice well and i took like the back of the apron and i flipped the fabric uh-huh you know, and use, like, the other side as the pockets. So, like, right. you know, you can get all fancy. And you don't have to have pockets. Well, and here's the deal. You figure out your technique right. for making your apron right. out of Hawaiian shirts. And maybe you chose this because you've got a bunch left over. Like, these are my grandfather's shirts, right? right. Uh, so they were, like, shirts he wasn't wearing anymore. He was, you know, he was wearing, right. like, track suits, uh, mm -hmm. you know, at the retirement home. But, you know, you can get shirts at, you can go to um, Goodwill. Your, yeah, yeah. Your, your thrift shop and see what they have. You know, they don't have button-down shirts like they used to have button-down shirts because people, <laughs> people don't wear them as often. Much, yeah. you know, but I, so, you know, it, you need to make sure that that source is there. So when you pick a theme like that, I think it makes it really easy to do some assembly lining. Right. 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 And Well, plus you get the technique down and you're more efficient at it. I also think if someone's afraid, and okay, people have different standards of gift giving. Right. Like, all of which are much higher than mine, I think. Like, I know I know there's someone out there who's like, my family would be mortified if I gave everyone an apron uh -huh. and it wasn't all different. Or, 
or, you know, sometimes there's like a stigma around homemade gifts at all. We're obviously not dealing with that in this episode. Um, <laughs> we're going ahead and assuming that it's okay. Anyway, I think it's fun when you do the variation on a theme because people get to see how you personalized it for, the other for person, them. Yeah. Like, oh, this one has music notes right. all over it. You know, oh, this one is for the art right. teacher, et cetera. I think that's fun. It is. So I, I guess I'm I'm willing to acknowledge that someone out there would be like, oh, no, my family would freak out if I gave right. them all the same thing. Right. But I did uh, – another theme thing is it can be a complimentary item. Right. And the first – year that I went to Derek's Christmas, I think we talked about this on another episode, but I made those ruffly bags for all of the, the class women. that I taught. Yeah, yeah. for all the women mm-hmm. in his family. And then I'd bought mini body washes. And put inside, right. And they were mini loofahs. Right. And put them inside the bag. So they all got one. Right. But and, they all got to see, they're right. like, oh, oh and, what's your bag And look that's like? really good, you too. Know? Like, you know, if you're baking cookies or making candy, yeah, then you... You also, you know, go to your sewing room and you're making the top for the can or the jar or the bag. What you know, so or Or you're making the napkin, you know, that goes along. You know, you make the napkins and you put the cookies in there. Whatever, you know. There's always something. Something that you didn't do, which I like totally get this. You didn't give us like holiday themed things for the holidays. Never. Right. Okay. And. I never bought, like, fabric that had Christmas trees or holly on right. it or whatever because I wanted people to use it all year round. And, and Now, occasionally, I would do something if I knew somebody gave, like, a lot of holiday parties. Right. I might make them an apron, uh-huh. you know, with a reindeer head on it that had Christmas lights that lit up or something. So, I guess you can choose based right. on the recipient. Like, right. you're going to make everybody cookies. Okay, does everyone get, like, a... T- a dish towel to go with right. it that goes all year round, or are you right. giving them a Christmas dish towel? To or keep on are hand? you theming it to them? If it's mm-hmm. a dance teacher, does right. it say, you know, Miss So and So is always on point or right. whatever? You know, you make up your, and that's the other thing, you can put their name in it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. they know you made it or whatever. Absolutely. Right. So a theming, though, can be really powerful. Uh, making everybody scarves. Right. Um, scarves have, is good. I like scarves. I have also seen people do this for offices and they'll like knit 12 hats right bring them in and put them on the pick. table and you, <laughs> you better get in there and pick your hat well, you, you know? know the other <laughs> so i used to go into this process and um i don't know if you want me to go there yet but i used to keep a notebook go go ahead okay. go ahead so i used to keep a notebook of who got what yeah there was my list it's also easy then too to help not forget to give who the gift needs to be for. Uh-huh. You know, I wouldn't yeah. leave anybody out. And we'll talk about that. Always make something extra. Mm. Have those, like, you know, little extra gifts. But so I would, I had a, I had a spiral bound notebook. I put everybody's name in it and I put what they got, right? right? And then the next year I would know, like, not to repeat it. Or mm-hmm. I would at least know what they got. Or, and I know that, you know, okay, I'm putting that person on this list for the next year. Oh, Mallory has a different boyfriend this year. He doesn't go on the list. I have to find that the new boyfriend's name. I can redo the present because he didn't get it. Oh, that's the other thing. I just want to pop this in there. When you do themes and you're like, okay, I know everybody got bath towels last last year. So, like, next year I can just be okay because everybody's going to get napkins. You know, that's kind of nice. But what the other thing I realized, okay, so is like dish towels. You can't give too many dish towels. Yeah. If you give somebody two or three or four dish towels, you can give them two or three, four dish towels the next year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if they made a funny face when you gave them the (laughs) dish towels the first time, I wouldn't. But, you know, Winnie. Yeah. yeah, Okay. So she she wanted dish towels for everything. She always wanted the dish towels, you know, because, of course, they got old. She, She used them. Right, I love. She used them, so she like wanted that. new ones. And I would even write like, were they Terry towels or were they just, yeah. you know, what were they flower sack towels? So maybe the next. But I don't think you can give too many towels in a way because people are always had. Oh, you know, somebody say, oh, are you going to make me some more towels? You right. know, I mean, <laughs> so I mean, you you can repeat a gift. Sure, sure. Obviously, but you may want, you know, so if you 
depending on maybe you made towels Christmas themed for Christmas one right. year. Maybe the next year you'll want to put something else on them. I have to remember the theme thing, though, because I'm not into it. I don't really like theme you know things like that right. around Christmas, but like my mother in law does. So you were telling me to like finish... she likes Christmas <clears throat> stuff. Yeah, she likes Christmas stuff. So you were telling me to finish that pillow over there. I'm pointing to a snowflake pillow. Oh yeah, I said it's a who, who is this for? Right. Yeah, it, it's something that I'd done a long time ago, and I thought, ah, you know. And right. I was like, oh no, somebody is gonna love. Or you a could Christmas make her pillow. the pillow and put the buttonholes on it so that she could change the theme. Sure, sure. No, there, thing. But I yeah. you have to remember that you're not you're not receiving the gift, of course. Right, you're giving it <laughs> you're giving the gift. But I would be like, oh great, a, a Christmas thing that I won't really it's okay. You know, right. the Christmas thing will come out in July for me. You right. know, uh because I'm not a big I'm terrible at the seasons like that. Like I'm bad at it in our business. I'm so bad at being like, oh, it's Christmas. I need to publish the Christmas tutorials. <laughs> I'm so bad. Uh, like, oh, it's Mother's Day. Right. You know, I know it's I know it's Mother's Day for you, but I'm just bad about it uh, in planning content. So anyway, I love the themes. I like getting in an assembly line. Right. I like picking, oh, we're just going to pick this thread for this person, and this fabric speaks right. to me for this person, et cetera. So that is a really good technique when especially if you're down to the wire here because right. there could be it's the time of year now when this is being published that like someone could be traveling for an early christmas gathering That's you right. know for well her. and another thing is you know there may be some people you need to buy gifts for it's okay maybe it's a kid you know that they want a toy and you can't think of anything that you could possibly make for them it, that they'd want now i used to make you know, gifts for kids, and they liked them. But mm -hmm. you had to know the kids. You had to know what they were into. You know, yeah. that or you know, buy the gift and add to it. So uh -huh. you, so you bought a checkerboard, and then you made a little drawstring bag for the checkers that said, you know. Charlie's checkers on it so that he had something to keep his checkers in. Yeah, and I think as okay as a person who makes stuff like you, I'm talking to you, listener. I think we're kind of coming back to a time. When people really want, like, practical stuff, mm -hmm. they don't want a bunch of junk. Right. Um, and we can make really cool practical things that are a little customized to be fun. Right. You know, uh, making that consumable thing like a cookie or a, right. or a dinner for someone. I, I made stock for all of you right. last well, year. Well, I never got any, so I don't well, know if it was really made for yeah. me, but... I was told someone was made for me. I made you food with the stock in it. Oh, so. sure. Uh -huh. um, you know, you can, though, I think, actually, it's kind of coming back around, like the handmade gift thing. I, yeah. Uh, it's, it's definitely. Well, and I think you can, you know, if you moment. make someone something and you don't think they appreciated it at the time you put it, then the next year you know not to. Oh. Okay, I mean, before we move you can on. always make a mistake. Yeah, before <laughs> before we move on um, and take a break, I just want to remind everyone, I think I've said this last year on this kind of theme that we did, if you're giving someone something that you're afraid they might not know how to use or wear... Tell them what it is. Make a little tag with a picture that, on yeah. it. This is when I made those well, cowls. <laughs> you made what? The cowls? I made cowls, yeah. and I gave them to some very and they didn't know how people. to put them on. Yeah. Well, and that's like like with people make the rice bags or, yeah. you know, the ba bags that go in the microwave or whatever. And they put little instructions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have a little tag or a little instruction that says how to do it and how to launder it maybe. Right. Things like that. Right. Um, speaking of writing. Well, well right? we're going to take a break. We are. Are you? Are you are, can we do this before we take a break? Oh, you want to I save guess. It? Okay. All right. We'll take Go a ahead. quick break. Mallory, I'm always impressed with baby lock machines, and I always think, yo, this is the best. You can't get better than this. And then guess what happens? Something they make else. it. They make it better. Yeah. Actually, you know what? You know what happens? Okay. They put they put a camera on their on their highest end machine, right? Right. So there's a. Let me repeat this. There is a camera on the machine. Yes, and I can take a picture of my manicure if yeah, I want. Yes, yes. So they put a camera on the machine so you can scan what you're going to embroider. Right. Da, da, da. But then what they did now, they've made the technology even more accessible. Okay. Okay. So, like, 
how how can they impress me? Well, instead of having the machine with the camera on it, if you don't have that machine, the new Altair and Meridian machines let you use an app on your smartphone to transfer a picture of your project wirelessly to the machine so that you can have this perfect positioning on other machines as well. So not only, I mean, uh, they've just made the technology even more accessible okay. to everybody. I'm like living in a in a fantasy world in, in the future in the yes the future is now I, I, the future has happened i have a communicator on my wrist that's right you know that's right. i mean <laughs> okay so i don't know how much more i can be impressed yeah i think that the launch of the new baby lock machines right now in 2019 might be more impressive than the apple releases that are going on so um if you want to see these machines in person you can go to babylock.com and you can use their retailer locator to go see a machine right. at a dealer and that's another thing of course we love about baby locks right are their fabulous dealers they're independent right. retailers so yeah um and then i guess we've gotten to a place Maybe the closest we're going to get to Baby Lock naming a machine after you. What? Yes. They named a machine ZD? Yeah, so not quite. They oh. have the new Altair and Meridian that are, you know, the machines that work with that perfect positioning app. But now they have a machine called the Ariel as well. So oh, you mean like Ariel in the yes, sky, -E not like Ariel the mermaid. A E R I A L. That so would be that would be as close as maybe I'm gonna get. All right. So once again, go to babylock.com, check out that retailer locator, and check out the wonderful videos they have that show you what the heck we're talking about with this perfect positioning app on your smartphone. I continue to be impressed. Yes. So Sewing out loud. Speaking of writing, what? Mm -hmm. Or drawing. <laughs> or drawing. Or, or making something on your computer. Oh, I need to write this down. Go ahead. Right? Go ahead. You can make a coupon or a coupon book. Don't whisper. No. Or a coupon book. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's why I'm whispering. There's caution here. Yes. Right? Don't let, don't. You know, don't give it to somebody who thinks it's a free license then mm -hmm. to get their ha pants hemmed whenever they want. You have to be like not combinable with any other <laughs> offer. That's right. I not mean, you want to you want to put on that you want to put on that coupon. You know that you will. I actually, actually have coupon books left for my kids still that I still have that says yeah. they'll do things for me. They never did them. Still, uh, you never did never use them. the coupon. If um, you still have the coupon but anyway, book, you know, <laughs> you can make a coupon that says you know. We'll hem one pair of jeans while we'll hem one pair of lined pants. You might need to get real specific because you don't want somebody bringing you something, you know, they think they think doing, they, they think, think sewing the is just hem, a one thing job. Yeah, right, the jeans right. hem is the wedding dress right, or something. Right, right. Uh, and then also on this note, just thinking ahead, if you are somebody who really sews like garments for people for mm -hmm. Christmas, you can buy people tape measures. Yes. Okay, because if it's uh, December 2019, you don't want to take December 2019 measurements and then use them for December 2020 garments because that's a whole year where someone could change right. size. I mean, you don't know what's going to happen. Uh, so you can get them a little tape measure and put a little note with it. And say, it's like, right. you know, keep this handy because and what be, Well, and, what and I would do also is too. I would give them a piece of paper with the measurement, like a measurement sheet. Yeah. You know, so that they know well, how I'm to saying do it. You or... might, yeah, or you might ask for that right. later, though, too. So, anyway, giving a tape measure away could be too full. It's amazing how many people don't have tape measures. Yes. It's yes. amazing. Now, there is, like, there are gifts you can give, like, wearable gifts. Right. Where you don't always have to know someone's size. And one of them is an apron. Another mm -hmm. one is a robe. Yeah. The robe um, that we featured in the zine. Um, we give you formulas right for the robe it's a self-drafting you know it's a self-drafting guide robe, right. kind of thing it's but, like if the person is this tall you know you'll want to do this if they're i mean if you you could all you have to do is guess their biggest like equator measurement right like, what's bigger their boobs or their belly you know and so a lot of times that can be guessed right. um or you could like measure somebody similar if you're just absolutely right. completely clueless but because uh, so, a robe is not fitted. So you know. robes, aprons, mm -hmm. scarves. Scarves are good, you know. Knit, okay, hats, Um, if you, you right. know, 
if you're making it out of a stretchy fabric or if you're knitting right. or crocheting it, like so many people knit right. and crochet uh, in this, uh, in our audience, I feel, you know, those can be sized right. appropriately. There are other things you can make that I, I, I don't know if you'd call this a wearable or not, but like a back warmer that, you know, Velcros around somebody, that would be stretchy and you have pockets in it where they can put, you know, Ice packs. Now, you you would buy the ice packs or, or you know, something that would be... Don't ins- tell me what to do. ...would be I'm inserted gonna... <laughs> in there. Um, you know, or the... But, you know, those kinds of things. Yeah, those wearable things mm-hmm. that don't actually require measurements. True measurements, right. Yes. You, know. you know, something else that I think would be really popular uh, are food bags. Yes, People food like ba- lunch fabric, bags. fabric, food bags. Oh, man, one year I made... All, this is before, you know, you had, like, embroidery machines or any... You know, I ha- I applicate on the sewing machine all these drugs drawstring bags. Drugs. Draw, blah, 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 blah. Make blah, 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 blah. All of these drawstring bags, and all they said on them was lunch down oh, the yeah. side. Like, okay. And they I, went wild. I, I mean, the crowds the people went I worked wild. with, we all but brought, yeah, they, well, <laughs> those things weren't available then either. I know. You know that's I have the to other say, thing. I do have to say. We used to be able to sell an embroidery machine by being like, you'll put someone's name right. on it, and they'll be so excited. And that has become more common. a lot you more commonplace. Yes. Um, I, you know, it's still a great gift. Okay, I don't want to say well, it's not a great you gift. Can still, you can still make something very personal that you can't find out there. Yes. And you made it. Yes, you did. Yes. But I do think it used to have a little bit of a bigger impact. Right. And even right. embroidery machines are cheaper now. Like, you right. had an embroidery machine. You had, like, one of the first embroidery machines. Right, or almost, right, right. You know? So we were, like, ahead of the curve on that. Uh, but, yes, I, I do. I just want to say, I, you know, the, maybe that. Just looking back at the gold at the good old days. But you know, all. a bag is a good thing too. People okay. love and, and bag, like, bag, bag. Well, yes, and bag, Any kind gro- of bag. You know the 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 reusable grocery bags. Everybody's wanting those mm. now, and especially ones that fold into themselves, things like that. And those are washable. You know the the non woven grocery bags that you sometimes yeah. buy. The, yeah. You know, those suckers get dirty and you can't wash them. And there have been tests done on those about how dirty they get. <laughs> no, there is a well I know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know they do. And it's like sometimes those nylon bags will be for sale that kind right. of go up into themselves. And right. they're real small. I think they have their right. place. But a really sturdy, like cotton tote bag right. is really good for groceries. And well, and I like something that has a base in it, yeah, you know, that ha- really has nice. a plastic bottom okay, in it. Okay, you know what whatever. I do think is having a bit of a heyday right now? And I don't know why, but, okay, when we first start, had the shop, okay, and we, I'm just thinking of, like, the early days and into maybe, like, the first 10 years of, like, being around the store, I feel mm-hmm. like there were purse patterns but they weren't very, they weren't always very, like, contemporary. Uh-huh. Okay? They were, mm-hmm. do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it was like, there were purses you could buy in the store. Right. But then there were purses, and you're like, oh, that person made that. And right. it was really pretty. But now, there are so many bag designers. Yes. Doing well, really, also, well, I think the them. other thing is. They're doing really contemporary, really, um on point bag right. design and like i have seen in the group people will be making right. like one of those trendier like backpacks uh, or the, something or the cork bag you know people are using and different materials i too. would be so impressed if right. i received a home a handmade homemade right. uh you know friend right. sewn backpack i would be like right. whoa you know <laughs> well i mean you know there's other things if you like sometimes if you come up with a theme you'll think of ideas like the grocery theme or whatever yeah. or um you know like one year I did like travel theme yeah so people got little makeup bags mm-hmm. or like, you know and one of my big things was I made a little bag and I embroidered panties on it so you wouldn't forget your underpants right it, it and some of them, I think I wrote, pack your panties on them. Uh-huh. You know, then they were just cute. And everybody's like, oh, this is So perfect. you can pack all of your underwear right. when you go on a trip. You know, th- this is cute. For three days. And the thing that I made for a lot of the men, right, because they don't like the same sort of, like, little toiletry bags, apparently, we do. I don't know. But was shoe covers. Uh-huh. You know, shoe bags, a like shoe, shoe bag, right? So that they could put their shoes, you know, in their suitcase in a bag. Okay, I always struggle with the man thing. The man like, thing can be hard. I don't know because I, like, I don't want to get into. I'm like, 
I'm, I'm telling my kids that it doesn't matter what gender you are. You can wear whatever color coat and you can do whatever and you can have a sequin thing and right. whatever. And so I'm like, why am I restricting myself on like the man thing? And I Well, because you have to you have to think about the receiver. Yeah, I know. Right. And I think we're limiting ourselves um on unbeknownst to ourselves. I think right. we're putting some I think we're putting some regulations there that don't exist because I made dish towels for my mother-in-law and uh, father-in-law. Right. And I was thinking in my conditioned brain that she would just love them and he'd be like, whatever. He loved them. Right. It said like Carolyn and Carney's Kitchen and right. he was on fire about them. Well, or Bob's <laughs> Pies. Know? <laughs> you know, I mean, that that was always a favorite of mine if somebody really, like this was, okay, one of, one of the boys' teachers always made a peanut butter pie for uh-huh. what we called the dessert benefit. Uh-huh. You know, it was something, this is like a potluck thing. Peanut butter pie, pe- peanut butter pie and avocado pie. So he got avocado pie and, you know, Bob's avocado pie and Bob's peanut butter pie dish towels that year. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, like, I don't, I'm, I'm right. trying to let go of that because I think we sometimes think, oh, men are so hard to sew for. I've even had people say, oh, I hope you have a, a girl so you can sew for her. I'm I like, know, that's kind of weird. wear yeah. clothes or, you know, right. who, everyone, right. everyone wears clothes. So I just get to thinking about well, that. And, and there's, like, you made sports towels one year. Yeah. You but, know, that was, so, that was a so good thing. do we not want to make a man grocery bags? No, we have made men's grocery bags. No, but I'm saying, ba- yes. like, we right. sort of, you know, is there a bit of a hesitancy for that because, like, the women do Oh, I see what you're shopping. saying. I mean, okay, I'm just trying to Well, de- I think the man should be doing the grocery shopping, too. Right, but, I think but, there should be a grocery shopping set in both cars. Like, well, sure, but... Yeah, that's, okay, that's what that's I got. That's a whole other thing. Yeah. Um, but I'm just saying... Don't let that get in your way. Right. Everyone of every gender likes to get presents. Well, the other okay? big thing that's that's <laughs> around now is, you know, because we're not trying to use plastic, is making the mesh bags for the groceries. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Okay, so that's very popular right now. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that is. The that reusable is quite... mesh bags. But I used to get a little hung up over the man present and lady present thing, and I'm not so much anymore. Yeah. I'm like, oh, whatever. And then it ends up being great. Yeah. You know, yeah. It, it's totally something that I'm just kind of like imagining on my on my part. Anyway, yes. So using less plastic I, is I, yeah. that's what I'm saying. We're, well, we're and on like the with trend, the notions everybody. bags, I also made like a lot. I, I, I you know I can't even remember what, I, but you know the, I made them for electronics. Yeah. For for all the cords and stuff, and I made like the front see through. Uh huh. You know, and the back you know was the fabric, so you could see you know your different. Cords and chargers and adapters were there. No, that's there. perfect. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And then, and then too, a lot of times you don't have to unpack that. You just keep that packed, sort yes. of. Yes. You know, and you'll always have them with you. That's my fantasy is that I, like, am a person who needs to have a travel bag packed all the time because I just, at any moment, might have an awesome trip to go on. Well, you know how I do it. <laughs> You don't. Do you know how? How I do you do it? So I have a a, a big plastic like basket, yeah, that, that slides into my linen closet in uh-huh. my bathroom, and it's I ha- it has a sign on it that says travel, right? And I have my contact lenses and how they need to be, and the, and everything's in there, and I just pull that out and then put those whatever I need out of that plastic thing in my luggage. Okay. So well, that's not nearly as exciting as mine sounds. But it's already packed. <laughs> but it is the same thing. But it's all packed, right? <laughs> I'm just saying, I want to have like a duffel bag there, like waiting for me oh. to just pick it up and go. No, I don't want it like that because I have to refill some of the things when I uh, come home. Like well, every time I come back from my cool trip to like Paris, like yeah. weekend trip, I just refill it because you never know when you're gonna have to. Well, that's what I'm saying. You have to take them out of your luggage anyway when you get home. You can't just leave it packed. But we you have digress. To it. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> I have a I have a system that works. I have a system that works. Thanks for ruining my. I have a system that works. How does it feel when you go on your last minute trips? Does it? Do you feel like really cool because you've got everything ready? Yeah, because I just pull it out of there. Well, that's that's the important part. Right. Okay. Good. Good. So travel themes, all that, uh, making wearable things that don't require measurements. Right. And then my best tip is on Christmas Eve, or the day before your. When Mallory makes all her gifts. That's right. The day before your gift exchange, you need to have a notebook or you need to have your phone handy because that's when you're going to get your best ideas. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm like, oh, I wish I could yeah. just save this idea for next year. And you can. 
That's why when I had my spiral notebook, you just start writing those ideas down. You can just write it down. I, in the back of the book, I had a list of gifts. Right. Right. You like know. ideas. And, there, and you know, some of them were very simple, but I... It didn't mean I always had them in my head to remember. No, no, absolutely. Yeah. So I, I would always get those last minute, like, oh, this would be a good idea. There was that one year, though, that I went to Marshall's, like, on the way home to our gift exchange. And I found a gift for everyone. And I just bought them and came home <laughs> and gave them. And they were great. Right. They were great The gifts. other thing you can do <laughs> is... You can sew the wrapping. Yeah, that's Okay, fun, and we right? did a lot of that last year. I think um, if you go and search, I don't know what. I'll republish that post about right. the paper. And we, I used a lot of paper bags. Yeah. And I made, like, the shape of a Christmas tree or the shape of a star. I think I might even have made a heart or something. And I sewed them together. So they have to rip the sewing apart yeah. to get into them. Well, That's and, real fun. But the way, you know, what you were talking about with bags. I mean, really, right. if you're if you know someone wants uh gopro right okay but you think i i know they like it when i make them things and i want to make them something putting that in a reusable grocery right. tote is right. a great way to incorporate that so right right or just a reusable gift bag mm-hmm. the other I thing like we you. didn't talk about which is always because you're going to want hostess gifts and oh, kitchen yeah, tile kitchen tiles gifts. are great Kitchen tiles are great, or fingertip tiles for the bathroom are great, that kind of thing. And wine, you know, what do you call them? Wine, wine holders. holders. Wine bags, okay. whatever. You also mentioned, I think earlier in the podcast, or maybe when we were talking about this, to have a few extras. Yeah, you need to have a few extras. You really do because, well, especially, I mean, we've had, had um, holiday you know, events or, you know, dinners or get-togethers where someone even brought someone extra. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it was just nice to hand them something. Right. They didn't even expect it, okay. but it was nice to hand them something. That sheer surgery scarf sample that you made 10 yes. years ago ended up being a last minute gift. That's right. <laughs> don't, tell, don't tell her. If I see another one hanging over there, we can yeah, give there away, we go. too. No, but that would be right. a few good. Oh, and, you know, we just published that uh, Sojo episode. Yes. You know, if you're one of those people who, who you think a quick project would help you get your sojo back, right. you think that's something that would help. Well, and you a know, your couple quick gifts again to put aside is, is I, good. and I think we, we we did hit on this, but complimenting what so you know a lot of the tea cozies and the little tea what do they call them like the little placemat things the mug rugs mug rugs all that you know. Um, things like that that you can sew to complement the tea you're giving yeah, give them. Some or tea. Like, you yeah, know, yeah, or, exactly. Um, like again, napkins. I love na- I love cloth napkins. Well, and that's what I, I mean. I'm just gonna say it again. I think we're very on trend. Everyone who's listening, we are in a space where we can make things, we can repurpose right. things. You were talking about the wine holders. Mm-hmm. Okay, you were saying the leg of a pair of jeans. Yes. I wouldn't cut up a pair of jeans that was, I guess, if I found someone that were too small or something. Well, I'm not saying take your perfect jeans. I'm taking about the old ones. But if they're my old jeans, the hem's going to be all worn and stuff. Well, you can cut the hem off and redo it. Well, okay. But you've got a tube of fabric. Okay. I the think sleeve the, of a sweater, the, sweater the sleeve of a shirt, the sleeve of a T-shirt. Can, all those things can be a wine, you know, Okay, or you could get some real scuffed bigger. up jeans, I said, and put like some homemade moonshine that could be that would be funny <laughs> put it in older. a mason jar or yeah something. that could be your old but you know you can make also an apron can be made out of anything an yeah. apron can be made out of you know a um kitchen towel it can be made out of a shirt it can be made out of old pair of jeans that you know you patch together hey what about what about um Pillowcases. Hello. We just did a thing on pillowcases. Pillowcases. Yeah. And, you know, kids love pillowcases. Well, kids like stuff with their name on it, especially oh, right. like little yeah. kids. But, you know, we we used to do the thing where we used the glow in the dark thread thread to put the kid's name on the well, pillowcase. Y'all know I'm that was fun. With glow in the dark puff paint now. So. Yeah, well, I'm not puff painting on a pillowcase. pillowcase. But puff painting on a pillowcase? But anyway. Someone is somewhere right now. I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> pillowcase, everybody needs extra pillowcases. Yeah. Yeah. And if you are if you are someone who's feeling a little like your fabric library is encroaching upon you. Yeah. It's a good fabric use, too. Well, and looking at your, looking at what you already have and, uh-huh. and getting some inspiration for what you're going to make right. is not a bad idea at all. No, 
no, no. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice I made, you I made to go something, buy something. I made like 72 placemats one year. Yeah. So I made placemats for everybody, and I knew like what they're Did where, you buy fabric? Some I did, some I didn't. Okay. Some I had, you know. Um, most of them I put um, bias, bias around them. Uh-huh. You know, I biased the edge. Most of them were quilted. I should make the look. I want to make uh, what but are they called. I also knew like the shape of their table. I knew their yeah. colors, you know, so I could be pretty specific. And some of them, some people got like napkins to match, and some people got a recipe box that matched that because I covered a Man. recipe box in the fabric. I want to make so, place you know, mats with Annie Soft and Staple. Well, you and can do that if that you'd would, like. Look, they'd like, they'd keep, you could make them like a cool shape right. and they'd kind of keep the shape, yeah, you they know, would. like a leaf. Right. Well, I made the, you know, Parallelogram? No, what were they? They were rhombuses or something that like fit on a round table. What what yeah. shape is that? Anyway, you know, I made. I had a couple different shapes. I made a trapezoid. A trapezoid. That would be more what it was. It was a trapezoid with rounded corners. That's what it was. Because the top like was, a wedge. It was like yeah. a wedge. Right? Yeah. All right. Um, and I rounded the corners on all of them because they were easier to finish that way with the bias tape. Almost all of them had a rounded corner. Even um, my square ones had a rounded corner. Okay. And if you're ziti, you might theme things around, all of my gifts can be finished with bias tape. That's right. You know? <laughs> you know? Tell me what I finished the aprons you're, in that yep, year. Yeah, the aprons. Right. So you're making just anything that can be finished right. off with that bias binding attachment on that's the right. baby lock ovation or triumph or that's evolution. Right. Yeah, that's right. That's Absolutely. right. And you can make baby blankets there, too. You can do all that stuff. Okay, so those are some tips for holiday sewing, especially at this late hour. Um, I mean, mine aren't done. I can already tell you now from like three weeks away that today on the podcast publishing date that my gifts are not done. (laughs) But uh, theming things, keeping a list, making a few extras can really help you uh, break it down. You know, a couple of things I did last year is I had made costumes for people. Uh Uh-huh. So then I had their measurements. Ah. So I got to surprise them. So you so you were sneaky. Yeah. So I you know, I just kept that measurement and I got to make them what I wanted. There you go. Write it all down, everybody. That's right. Keep it in a notebook. Okay. Well, we hope that you have fun with your holiday sewing. Um, you can get to us on Instagram. We're at so here calm and ZD, take it away. So long and so happy. Thanks for listening to Sewing Out Loud. For even more expert sewing advice, visit SewHere.com. Thank you.